Oh, are you okay, little kitty? No, kitty's bum itching. Oh, we must rush to a vet to check if you have hemorrhoids. What's that? Well, by the time we reach the doctor, let me explain a painful question to you all. What causes hemorrhoids? Zoom in. What are hemorrhoids anyway? You see, the region around the butt and rectum is surrounded by blood vessels and supporting tissues that aid in controlling stool. Sometimes, when these vessels and tissues get swollen, inflamed or irritated, they're called hemorrhoids, more commonly known as spiles. Hemorrhoids are classified into two types, external and internal. Let's take a closer look at them. When the veins under the skin and around the anus get swollen, they are called external hemorrhoids. They are often more painful because there are more pain-sensing nerves in this area. They can be felt as lumps around the anus and can cause discomfort, itching or bleeding when irritated. On the other hand, the swollen vein inside the rectum is called internal hemorrhoids. People might not even realize they have internal hemorrhoids because they are far inside the rectum and generally don't cause pain. One way to find out is when you see a bit of blood in your poop or when they poke or come out through the bottom, causing some discomfort or bleeding. Doctors classify hemorrhoids into four groups to see how bad they are. First degree hemorrhoids are the mildest, staying inside and sometimes causing a bit of bleeding but not poking out. Second degree hemorrhoids come out a bit during bathroom time but then go back in on their own. Third degree ones stick out more and might need help going back in after using the bathroom. Fourth degree hemorrhoids are the most serious, always staying outside and not going back in. But the vital question is, what causes hemorrhoids in the first place? Well, there are a few things that can lead to them. One common reason is when we strain too much during bowel movements. This can happen if we are constipated or if we spend a lot of time sitting in the bathroom. Sometimes lifting heavy things or sitting for too long with poor posture can also put pressure on the area and cause hemorrhoids. The good news is that hemorrhoids aren't usually dangerous and they can often go away on their own. However, they can be uncomfortable and make it a bit difficult to carry out our daily activities due to symptoms like pain, itching and bleeding during bowel movements. So, there are a few simple things that can help us feel better if we have them. First off, it's important to eat plenty of fiber-rich foods and drink lots of water. This helps keep our bowel movements regular and prevents constipation, which can make hemorrhoids worse. Another helpful thing is staying active and exercising regularly. Moving around helps improve blood flow and prevents too much pressure from building up in the area. If the problem persists, make sure to visit your doctor who might suggest other treatments like special procedures to shrink or remove them. I know many people feel shy to talk about it, but there is nothing to be embarrassed about. Lots of people experience this and it's all about being kind to your bodies and taking steps to stay healthy. Trivia time! Did you know about 1 in 20 Americans has hemorrhoids? Also, older adults are more prone to hemorrhoids because their supporting rectal tissues are weaker. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Albert Red. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Your reports are out, Kitty.
You don't have piles. Why bumps itchy? Because you got worms. 